Hey everyone, this is Tyler from Big Lakes Dodge here in High Prairie, Alberta. Today we're going to be talking about this brand new 2025 Ram 1500 Sport Crew Cab. This one's a 4x4 and it's color bright white. It's got black interior and black seats. It's got the leather faced front vented bucket seats. And the engine we're running on this bad boy is a 3 liter inline 6 hurricane twin turbo engine with the start and stop. And this one has an eight speed automatic transmission. So it'll be really good for fuel economy. A little, It's a little bit better on fuel than the, than the previous Hemi models. And this truck comes with trailer sway control, brake assist, advanced brake assist, electronic stability control, hill start assist, traction control, electric roll mitigation. And uh, I wanted to show you this tailgate here you can even use your key and then this little part right here it's a little motor so you just pop this up and it closes for you or you can use your key fob it will pop that up too all right let's take a look inside this bad boy <coughs> now that we're in the passenger side you got the Harman Kardon audio system with like so many speakers. There's two on each door. You got one up there, one right there, one on the other side. You got two up in the back over there. <clears throat> There's lots of speakers. The sound system is really amazing. You got your locks, your windows. Sorry, give me one second. Your locks, your windows, one touch. And you got your storage area down here. <clears throat> you got your manual with all your information, your warranty information. And check this out. This is the uh, passenger entertainment system. You just pop that on with the power button there. And then you got your AM, FM. You can connect Bluetooth. Your USB. All that stuff. Go back. And then you can connect your HDMI cable. There's the cable connection right there. So if you want to put in like an Xbox or something while you're driving. And then you can place the Xbox in here because there's lots of room in here. You can pop this open. It moves on both sides. You can put it anywhere in here. And this will slide up too so your box Xbox doesn't slide around. Or your PlayStation. Got some storage space in here. We'll shut that off. You got your power seats. <clears throat> really nice material on here. Different accent. You got your nice accent stitching here. Another Harman Kardon speaker. Storage there. And here. You got storage in the back of the seat here. Could put maps or something like that. You've got your cup holders, and you got even more speakers up there. Then you got your USB C ports, a little storage area right here, your vent controls, and then your front seats are heated, and your also your back seats back here are heated. And you got your DC wall or AC wall charger plug in. Uh, and with this you could also pop this up too if you're driving down the highway you got tools or something you don't want to rolling into the front here it's always nice to have this popped up got your nice wheels and tires <coughs> and then back there you got your Sorry, your electric back window there. Let me go grab the key and I'll show you guys how, to, how this thing works. Okay, now on back, got your key here. You hold this down twice. There you go. Thing opens. You just click it twice and then it opens. And then to close it, you and then hold it down until it's all the way up. 
<laughs> and then we'll do it again. You got your command start on here as well. And then you got your trailer box lights. Turn them on, turn them off. And that's the power button right there. Oh, and if you don't hold it down, it'll go down like that again. You gotta keep it held down. Got your more storage space, even more. Your windows, I don't want to roll it down because it's got the window sticker on here. Lots of space in here. Lots of stuff. Lots of room. Perfect for a family of four. Maybe even a family of five. Some nice... Oh. Get rid of that. A lot of storage in this this type of vehicle. Let me check real quick. I think you might have these. Oh yeah, you also got these under here. And then there isn't the drain plug, but like it's it's not meant to be a cooler, but you can put ice in here if you want to go to the beach or you want to have cold drinks on the road, but then the ice won't stay frozen for very long. Also got lights under here under the seats. So you can see the floor. And these are on both sides too as well. You got your heated mirrors on here too. So when you defrost your back window, your mirrors will be heated as well. So in the winter, when it's frosty, you'll be able to see when you're trying to reverse and stuff. You got your locks, your window locks, all your window controls, and you got your mirror controls. You got your memory seats. You got controls for electric controls for the seats. You got your pedals with memory. You got your electronic park brake with these pedals. You hit that, they go farther away, or you can come closer. And the steering wheel, it's telescopic as well. You can move, pull it out, push it in, move it up, move it down. It's whatever you feel comfortable. All right, let's hop in. I'll show you some of the features on this 14 inch, 14 and some inch new touchscreen. Now that we're in the driver's seat here, you got a lot of your controls. You got your driver modes here. Off-road unavailable, shift to four-wheel drive. Got different modes here. And you got your gear limit, gear limiter. Got your adaptive cruise control. Your active driving assist. Lane detection. There's so much features on these vehicles that it's kind of unreal, but it's it's so safe. And then you go scroll through here. You got your screen setup. And if you connect your phone, it'll be able to read you your phone messages on here. And then you got, it'll tell you what radio station you're on. It's also equipped with AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio. And then you got your trip, your navigation on here, and you also have your navigation on there. You got your fuel economy, tire pressure, and then this is the uh, lane assist, um, driver assist. Yeah, so if you're driving down the highway and then you come too close to the yellow, yellow or the white, and then it'll turn your wheel and make you stay in the lane that you need to be in. It's always good, especially if you're driving, uh, driving on a road with multiple lanes. Let me turn that off. Active driving assist off. <clears throat> and then you got your knobs here, your auto start stop. And what that is, is that when you're driving in the city and you come to stoplights all the time in the city, it'll uh, shut your vehicle off so you can save power, uh, save fuel, sorry. And then you got your push start button. 
four wheel auto, two wheel, four wheel low, four wheel high. And then you got your park assist in the front, on. Then you got your park assist in the rear, off and on. And you got your trailer brake on here, and then you also have control on there. And then you got more USB C's. You got three of these, but I think these two are for the screen up here, and I think these two are for the screen over there on the passenger side. And then the cool thing about this is that it's got privacy glass, so the driver can't see it, only the passenger. So if you, from the driver's seat, you can't see that. So it makes it a lot safer. You can only focus on this or the navigation on this. And you got your traction control, your hazards, all your manual um, climate controls for the passengers. And then you got your lane keep, active lane management there. And then these are fully customizable as well. You hit this and then you can move it all around, fit it to your needs. Put this on home. And I got the navigation on there right now. And then the music channel. And you got street media. And AM, FM, you can connect your phone. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is available on here. You got your climate, the heated steering wheel, vented front seats. But then uh, rear seats are only heated not vented and then you can connect your phone all the info on your vehicle vehicle cameras you got your surround camera and your reverse camera so that's always nice it helps you a lot when you're trying to parallel park you can see everything and uh yeah so you don't hit anything like that And then you got your front front camera. Front cross path camera. Rear cross path camera. Rear view camera. Passenger curb view. Driver curb view, all these will help a lot with, so you're not hitting any curbs, not wrecking your tires. You got your dashboard, you got towing and trailers, you got your controls, settings, lots of settings that you can choose from. So many things. Got your apps, all these apps, your store notifications, surround camera, trailer tow. Tutorials, USB, USB 2, vehicle, vehicle cameras, you got weather, if you want Wi-Fi hotspot. And then you got your trailer tow, surround camera, oh, I already said that, your SOS, software updates, Sirius XM, passenger vent, rear view camera, settings, passenger heat, phone, passenger curb view, all this crazy stuff. There's so many things that you can do on these new trucks, it's unreal, and I love it. Device manager, digital keys, so assisting, you can use an, there's a card that you can get with this, and you can uh, use that card to unlock your vehicle and start your vehicle, so you don't need your key. Assist, Alexa, AM radio, Android auto, audio settings, auxiliary camera. So many, so many things, and then we're back to the navigation. Yeah, you got some more storage up here, another 12 volt plug in, and then here's your you can control your tailgate with this. That, uh, tailgate's going down, and then to do that, you just I think it might just be just open. What does that say? Confirm tailgate area is clear. Press again to call. There we go. Now it's closing. 
And you got your lights, and then you open your window here with this. So much stuff. You got another plug-in down here, wall outlet plug-in. These are wireless chargers for your phones as well. That'll be nice for when you're driving. Don't need extra cords hanging around everywhere. Got cup holders right here. It's fully slidable. Like I said, you can put your Xbox down here or your PlayStation if you want to play your game or watch a DVD. And you got your cup holders up here. And then you got more storage. Another USB port plug-in. And you close that and grab this one. And you got your little chart here. Your, what is that? Pythagorean Theorem or something like that. Sorry, I'm not very smart when it comes to that type of stuff, but that's pretty cool how it has that. And then if you want this out of the way, you just put it back. And then it's like that. All right, everyone, if you like this uh, 2025 Ram 1500 Sport Crew Cab 4x4 with the 3 liter inline 6 Hurricane twin turbo engine, come stop by Big Lakes Dodge and then we can work out a deal for you. All right, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.